If you have a lot of fonts installed on your computer when you're using DaVinci Resolve, you could end up scrolling like this. That gets painful in a heartbeat. So welcome back to Creator Reality. I'm John and today I'm going to show you how you can make your own preferred font list in DaVinci Resolve. And I put it in air quotes because it's not like the favorites that we've seen elsewhere in the system, but it does work in a similar fashion. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you what I'm talking about. And here we are, I've got my timeline, I've got my effects open. If you don't see it, click on effects. And then under toolbox titles, we're gonna grab a text plus and drag it in. And we're gonna blow up this font so it shows up clean on the screen recording. See, I'm working for you. Anyway, <laughs> look, I've got a whole bunch of fonts here and I could scroll and scroll until I find the one that fits the style of whatever it is that I need on screen. That gets tiresome, so let's fix it. To do that, we're gonna come up here to DaVinci Resolve, click on Preferences, and we're in the User tab. There's also a System tab, but we wanna to go to the User tab under Editing. If you scroll all the way down, Display Only Specific Fonts. Well, we'll check that box, and I've got a file listed here, but I can browse, and it'll show that I've got this DaVinci Resolve font whitelist. It doesn't matter what you call this file. We'll go through the file format shortly, but I'll click open and it sets it right here in this text box here, click save. And then all of a sudden you see font not found, HY post light regular. I did that on purpose to show you that if you're trying to use something in Resolve that uses one of the fonts not in your whitelist, you're gonna get this message and it won't display properly. You may wanna add that font to your whitelist or change the font to something that is in your whitelist. So now I can click over here and you notice it already defaulted to agency FB. And I've got this list, there's no scrolling. I'm using my scroll wheel, there's no scrolling. I can click on one of these and there, we've got just a short list. If, however, you have added an effect that you really wanna use in your project, for the time being, we can come up here to DaVinci Resolve, Preferences, and just uncheck Display Only Specific Fonts, click Save, and now you'll see that we can scroll again. So we can go back to one that wasn't on the list or one that definitely wasn't on the list. There, job done. If you really want, you can come back into DaVinci Resolve Preferences, the user editing area, click on display only specific fonts. It remembers the file name, click save. And now we're back to getting our message, but our list of fonts is now truncated. So what does that file look like? Well, I've dragged it on screen here. It's this. It's a plain text file with one font listed per line. Now, if you'll notice, these have uppercase and lowercase characters. And in this case, there's one with a dash in it. They have to perfectly match what is over here in the font name. So for me, what I did was I went through the font list in DaVinci Resolve in this text plus, and I found my favorite fonts and I just typed them in exactly as they are listed in the font list into my text file and then saved it to my hard drive. Job done. Pretty cool, right? And that's that. Quick tip today. Got a viewer that asked about it, so I did a little research and came up with this. So thank you very much for asking your questions. If you have a question about DaVinci Resolve, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you want to learn about. I'm here for you. Anyway, I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next video, which is going to be over here. John out.